SAR SLAMAZ SAR K2P. Um, just got this gun recently. Um, it just happened to see a picture of a uh, witness, EAA witness, and it looks pretty identical to the witness P. Um, let me get you a couple close views. These are based on the CZ design. This is a 9mm. Uh, it looks a lot like the witness. But these firearms are made in Turkey at the Sarsomaz factory. Um, not too much more to really say about it. I'm just going to go ahead and start breaking it down. Um, this pistol does fit my hand a lot better than the uh, say for instance P95 it's a little thinner kind of along the lines of uh, 1911 thinness which is, uh, has always fit my hands a lot better and you can just get a better grip on it hopefully you can see everything here has a nice beaver tail this is double action single action and it does also have an adjustable rear sight. Alright, let's go ahead and make this safe because I do know it's loaded. Alright. So, the only difference between the, obviously besides the design, the CZ design, but the only difference between this and the P95 really um, is that it does not have a decocker. This is only a safe ambidextrous safety, but it does look like you could uh, flip the mag release to either side if you wanted to. Uh, taking this down is uh, a lot like the P95. There's a little button there, a little safety catch here. And let's go over to the other side. It'll just be easier to take this apart. So, first you'll want to put it at half cock. You'll hear a little tap. And then you're going to want to line up these two circles, similar to how a Glock comes apart. And it says to pull on the sight. And getting this out before was uh, really difficult, so I'm going to push on the back here. And I did put some oil on it before I put it back together, so hopefully it comes out easier this time. Mm, trying to line up those holes. And of course it's not coming out. It's just uh, kind of hard to get this apart. Let me get you a side shot. The way this pin is sticking out. It just kind of hurts when you're trying to push the pen out. But anyways, let's try it one more time. I'd say that's probably the only flaw of this gun. It's just ridiculously hard to get that pen just started out. Oh, okay, there it goes. After pressing, kind of ridiculously hard. So that comes out, and this slides off. And everything else is pretty similar. Go ahead and take it apart. It does have a dual recoil spring, one inside the other here. Uh, stainless steel guide rod and stainless steel barrel. Everything else looks uh, pretty much similar to how it should. Um, now again, this is CZ, CZ design, so instead of riding on the outside, it's riding on the inside. Internals look pretty much how they should. And sorry if I'm out of breath and kind of breathing hard. Just got over a cold. 
And that's about uh, all there is to breaking this down. Putting them back together. Put the barrel in. And get this together before I put it in. sits right like that and putting it together is a lot easier than getting that pin pin out and as you'll notice you can just kind of sit it right there and just slide it in and you'll do the same thing you line up those two circles just like that and put the pin back in uh, I have red out over after you uh, shoot it a while and stuff like that, that pin will come out easier, but definitely a bear. Uh, but a great little shooter. I was able to get to the range uh, yesterday, matter of fact, and I just love the way it feels in my hand compared to the P95. With this, I can get a full grip with the P95. My fingers here were kind of up here. So, I mean, it, it, I had a good grip on it, but with this, I can just wrap them around it. Just a lot easier. Uh, the trigger and trigger reset for double action. I hate to dry fire this, but I'm going to. Um, this is about how long double action will be. And then if we were in single action, it's just like a little, eh, and boom. But overall, really good gun. This is uh, basically SAR Arms' budget gun. It's the cheapest one on the lineup that they have. I'm not saying it's cheaply made. That's why I keep uh, comparing it to the P95. Because the P95 is Ruger's budget gun. Uh, both actually are $350 right now. But I had the P95 for a long time and just wanted something newer. And I traded it to uh, my brother's friend. And he actually had longer fingers. So I think the P95 would uh, help him out a lot more. And he also wanted... Uh, a little shorter handle P95 probably is about right there this one comes down more and he was he's using it for uh, CCW so this one does weigh uh, I believe 1.8 pounds 1.87 pounds and the P95 weighed about an ounce and a half less so it kind of feels heavy but you know I really enjoy heavy guns but all in all really great gun hope everyone can uh, see it I really love hammer fired pistols so I hopped right on uh, trading it P95 and with the sights something I really enjoy is they fit in the rear sight. The front sight fits in the rear sight perfectly. With the P95 there was a little bit of play, but I just kind of like the sights on this a lot better, even though very similar to the P95. But I think he said he shot 100 rounds through it, no problems. I shot about 75, no problems at all. And anytime I get a new gun, I always try to force a jam, make try to anything I can do to make a jam. And I fed it hollow points. I fed it 115 grain full metal jacket, and I fed it 124 grain metal jacket, and no flaws, no malfunctions whatsoever. Uh, the group I had was pretty good group. Uh, I'd say, I don't know, about an 8-inch group. 
and I was shooting from it was a 25 yard range so but overall really impressive gun again this is just their budget model so our arms also has the B69 and uh, another model that just escapes me can't remember what it's called but really well made gun looks a lot like the witness but uh it is made in Turkey it is imported from EAA though but I think that'll about do it hope you enjoyed the review I really love the this firearm if you like the P95 I highly recommend picking one of these up